Hey there. Today I am gonna show you a few methods to fix the 500 internal server error that you may be experiencing on WordPress. So let's get right into it. The 500 internal server error can be caused if there is a problem with the server or file system, but it can also be caused by your host server. The problem can be caused by following issues. Corrupted.hd access file. Exceeded PHP memory limit. Bad plugin. But before doing anything, I recommend to back up your website if anything goes wrong. A common cause of this error is a corrupted.hd access file. It can become corrupted if you install a bad coded plugin, or if the file has not been configured properly, or even if an internet connection drops out while things are being written to your server. The fix is simple. And all you need to do is create a new.hd access file. Open your WordPress root directory by logging into your cPanel, or preferred FTP client. Locate the .hd access file there. If you couldn't find one, just go to setting and select show hidden file. This could be different in every FTP client. Once you locate the file, just rename it to .hd access .bak. This will delete your website .hd access file so we can create a new one. Now log in into your admin area. Hover on settings and click permalinks. Scroll down of the bottom of the page and click save changes. Now check and see if the 500 internal server error is gone. If it is, it was caused by the corrupted HD access file. Now if the issue is still there, it can be caused by another common problem. Which is the exceeding your server's PHP memory limit. It can cause if you install too many plugin on your site. Now what you need to do, is go back to your FTP client or cPanel and locate wp-config file. Open this file in the code editor. Add this one line of code under the opening PHP tag. Define WP Memory Limit 64M and close that. Save the file and refresh your page. If you're still facing the same error, then you're not having the PHP memory limit issue. Just remove this line of code because it wasn't the problem. Another thing you can try is by finding your bad plugin. If you can access your WordPress dashboard area, deactivate your plugin one by one. Refresh your page after every deactivation. If the error disappears, then the error was caused by that plugin. If you can't access your dashboard, go into your WordPress root directory and open the WP content folder. Rename the plugins folder to anything you wish. This will deactivate all the plugins running on your site. Refresh your page and see if the error is gone. If it is, then it was caused by a faulty plugin. Now you have to go back and enable them one by one to figure out which plugin is causing the issue. If none of the methods work, then you need to contact your hosting company so they can figure out the cause and fix the problem. If this video helped you in any way, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.